Hey guys, Jamie here from TNB. And since our last few walleye videos we've posted using the mini swaggers, we've been getting a lot of questions about how we rig them. Um, it's very simple setup. Um, what we have here, a couple of mini swaggers, and we have a couple of our uh, net hooks. We have the, the straight shank, just a regular old net hook, and we also have the, the offset, the, uh, the weedless, if you want to call it. Um, so let's do the simple one first. So just a straight up rig. So you, and you can use this with any jig head. It doesn't have to be a net head or whatever. This just happens to be the ones that we use. Um, we use the, these are the, the premium ones that have the, they're on Gamagatsu hooks. So they're premium, like high quality hooks that don't bend. But again, you can use it on any jig head you want. But what you want to do is face the jig head. So you want to, you want to know which way it sets up first. So we know it's going to go through the water like this. So we want to set it up like this and it's going to sit on the jig head like that. So you approximately want to line up where the hook, like the, the length of your hook is to approximately where it's going to come out on the bait. So I know it's going to come out just in front of the back fin here. So what I'm going to do is turn it up upside down like that and put it, so tip, tip of the hook to tip of the nose. Then you just want to thread it through the tip of the nose and thread it through the bait all the way. And then I'm going to bring it out just in front of the hook because that's where I approximately measured it the distance just out front of the top fin there. See the hook's coming out like that. And then we can thread it up and over the keeper and onto the hook like that. So it's a nice, nice, smooth rig. Very simple, just like that. So now for the offset hook. What the offset hook is gonna do is allow you to have this in a weedless presentation. So it's gonna kinda of look just like this when we're done. So you're gonna have the hook point buried back into the plastic so that no weeds will catch on it. So again, take the bait, nose up, put the hook point down through, except instead of threading it through now, immediately bring it back out. Then you wanna thread the bait up, up to the bend until you hit the bend in the hook, and then flip that hook over. And you'll see that the nose of the bait fits perfectly right in that little bend. And that's actually gonna work like a keeper too. And then you wanna do the same thing, kind of approximately measure it to where it's gonna come out. It's gonna give you the nice flat profile. Stick it back up through. Bring the tip of the, the hook out. And then you're gonna to wanna to just bring the plastic up and then bury the tip of that hook just in the plastic. And as you bring that through, look at that, nothing catches. It's just gonna come through weedless. So again, you can have the exposed if you're fishing sparse weeds. And again, it's a, it's a single inline hook, so it, it does do a fairly decent job of avoiding the weeds. But you know, you're gonna, you're gonna catch the odd ones, but if you can rig it exposed, anytime you can rig a bait exposed, do that. Obviously gives you the best hookup percentage. If not, if you're fishing the heavy weeds, weedless. Give them, give them the old one-two punch.